hi guys welcome to my channel i hope everyone is staying safe so i'm back with a process video of making this mini wedding dress well this dress is actually it's transparent with some embroidered applique on it and well i think any bride can use this probably for her after party or party or the daring bride can actually use it for her wedding so here i'm just going to drape um a bustier or a corset whatever you guys call it with a cup with a bra cup Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, I'm just going to have four panels and a bra cup, and that's it. Let's all take a Oh, by the way, um, I think I've mentioned this before. I like draping. Why I like draping is because I can actually see whatever I am doing in 3D, you know? So like, I'd pick draping over pattern making anytime. Well, unless it's for like uh, blazers or coats and the rest, tailored stuff. But for dresses, I actually prefer draping. For the people, for Muslim fabric is a fabric used for draping. Kids across the Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. So I'm just um, copying whatever I draped onto paper. So if I need to resize it or adjust it, it will be easier. And then this is what I actually place on the fabric and then like cut it. Oh, by the way, I have like half inch of seam allowance. Right, so this is everything after cutting. And I'm just pinning everything together. So what I'm pinning right now is actually the skirt. Here I'm just 
just sewing everything. So I'm ironing my seams open so I can sew on the boning case. So um, when making a corset or a bustier, um, using boning is actually very good. I mean it's always recommended because the boning actually gives the effect of like the cinched waist and the structure. So it's actually important. Now, I mean, the boning is what actually makes a corset a corset. You get? Alright, so I just used ribbons for the boning case. I ironed it into two. I folded it and ironed it and um, sewed it in between the seams. Attaching the cups to the corset. Oh, by the way, I'm not using any bra wire under the cups. It's just a personal decision. See, I'm inserting the boning into the boning case now. And I'm just going to sew together the top and the skirt so it becomes a dress. Then I'm going to finish off the rough edges of the top with this ribbon. So basically sewing it and then ironing it when folded and then finishing off the inside with some invincible stitches. Now I lost some footages so um, yeah. I basically um, stitched the inside by hand. Yeah, so this is how the dress looks when it's finished and I'm just going to do some placements and some appliquing on it. This is like my favorite part. I'm using some embroidery on this. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never 
and this is how it looks when it's done I mean when I'm done with the placements only there's still the hand stitching to be done and that's where the real work is actually yeah. Here we go, hand stitching. to glam everything up by adding some pearls some glass pearls it's not any kind of pearls that I like I like glass pearls <laughs> and yeah I just wanted a classic feel to the dress because I think pearls and greens make a nice combination let's go back to when trees were sworn so after this i'm just going to add the zipper to the dress and that's like the last step and yeah i actually wore the dress because you know it's this season where everyone is at home and I had no choice than to model the dress for myself so I hope you guys enjoyed the video though and learned a bit thank you all for watching see you guys in my next video bye